the weapons collective edge. Welcome to the weapons collective edge. Today I got the nine ring broadsword and uh, this is a wushu style one. It's a little more flexible but I wanted to show this and show the difference between a normal broadsword and uh, the nine ring. So the nine ring has nine rings on the back and their purpose is it does make noise so when you're cutting doing stuff with it it rattles a bit makes it kind of cool i guess but uh, they also can trap and lock a blade so if you're coming in you come in to block something it could actually hang up a blade a little more so it might protect you either way it's my personal opinion it looks kind of cool and uh, makes the sword unique. So I'm going to give you the basic dimensions on this and what we've got here is this particular sword looking at a 29 inch blade and an overall length of 37. Front width on here is around four and a half inches and the bottom down here is about two. So a large sword this one I would say is more around at max two pounds but a full steel that's a combat steel thicker in here I would go up to five pounds on this you could almost use it like an executioner sword the uh, main purpose of this one is the weight and the cutting ability it does have an ability to have two hands on it versus a regular darn doll that uh, used for all the moves and stuff that we have in my other video that that one it's just a single hand. This one is double. It does have a spot where you can put a tassel on the end. Makes it more flashy. Has that spinning red flare to it. But either way, this is the uh, nine ring broadsword. It's kind of cool. Used in kung fu movies and martial arts. But uh, if you like this, I'm going to keep putting up some more Chinese weapons. And we'll catch you later. Please subscribe and we'll see you then.